My name is Ashley with Riding Warehouse and today I'm going to go over uh, the importance of checking your leathers on your saddle and also how to install a latigo and off billet correctly since a lot of the times these don't come with the western saddle when you first purchase them. A lot of times you can find the latigo D-ring um, either on top of the skirt but for this particular saddle it is right under the skirt. So I'm going to grab my latigo here and show you how you attach this to your saddle. It's important that you keep the smooth part of your latigo towards your horse. That's going to prevent any rubbing or chafing on your horse's side during the time of your riding. So for this one, I'm going to make sure that the leather piece is facing towards where my horse would be. And I'm going to flip this top latigo part over the D-ring you're gonna see that there are three sets of holes that are actually identical. They look like a triangle. So this is going to be your kind of suff uh, supple leather string that's going to come with your latigo. These also can be cut off of a piece of leather if you lost your string. From here, you are going to take this piece of string and go back towards your horse on the bottom side of the triangle on both sides. Feed them back through the top of this hole. And then once they're through the top hole here, you're gonna go ahead and put it through this hole facing towards you. So now I have both strings through this end. Now on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the string here. And then you wanna make sure that you have enough of a string pulled forward because these two are actually going to go down and through that which is what creates your very secure attachment here so I'll show you that and at the end it is going to look like this it's very important that you always check this area of your latigo because this is where it rubs against the other metal bar it also rubs against the skirt of your saddle you want to make sure that your latigo stays oiled because any leather that dries out and cracks, that is what actually can break your latigo. You want to make sure you check this every time before you get on your horse. So now that we have our latigo nice and secure to our saddle, I'm going to show you how you uh, install your off billet. Your off billet can be found on the opposite side of where you're going to put your latigo. So that's going to be right under this fender. So now that we have securely attached the latigo, now I'm going to go over how you securely attach your off billet. Your off billet is going to be found right under the skirt of your western saddle. There are a couple different ways to secure your off billet to your saddle. Today I'm going to go over a um, very safe way to apply that to your saddle. Here I have the off billet and the cinch. Both come in uh, many different sizes, so that's kind of up to your personal preference, also the body type of your horse. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the off billet up so that the, the two pieces of the leather are facing upwards. And we're going to go ahead and slip the cinch down towards the bottom, just like that. You're going to want to make sure that the keeper for the cinch is facing up and not down. From here, we are going to place these two pieces of leather through the D-ring on the saddle. Go ahead and maneuver that back. Once you put uh, your ends of your off billet through the D-ring towards your horse, you're going to loop it back around through the ring of your cinch and you adjust it to where it will be appropriate on your horse's side. Then you take the prong on your cinch and you place it through the even holes on um, your cinch here and you apply it like that, apply a little bit of pressure, make sure it's nice and secure and you're going to feed the ends of your off billet through your cinch keeper. Here this gives you kind of a double reinforced cinch uh, and off billet making it nice and safe when you're on your horse. So if you found this video helpful or would like to watch our other how-to videos, please subscribe to our Riding Warehouse YouTube channel or you can find us at ridingwarehouse.com.